Amy Gozier has been teaching 17 years and is from Clifton Park, New York. She is a first grade teacher at Milton Terrace Elementary School. Gozier created a cross-curricular agricultural unit on corn that addressed all five themes of agricultural literacy, as well as many of the New York State Common Core and Next Generation Science Standards. As she said, the idea sprouted after meeting her neighbor's father, Bob Casterton, an Iowa corn farmer and soybean farmer and avid supporter of Ag in the Classroom in Iowa. A friendship began and Bob graciously offered to speak to her students and conduct virtual tours of his farm. The unit starts by exploring the question, where does food come from? Students were encouraged to think about all the different foods they eat and where they thought it all comes from. The class completed a food web concept map from the National Ag in the Classroom website to help students visualize the idea. They labeled the diagram of corn and made a corn life cycle wheel. The class learned about the delicate pollination process of corn. They completed a science experiment which allowed the class to isolate different variables to which environment will be best for sprouting corn. They placed ears of flint corn in three different environments, sand, soil, and water, and predicted which would result in sprouting. Through the corn investigation, students also used their math skills as they investigated and measured the size of ears of corn. They learned about standard and non-standard units of measurement, circumference, even and odd numbers, as they discovered that kernels grow in an even number of rows around the cobs. As part of the unit, she worked with the instructional technology department within her district to use Skype to bring what they were learning about farming and agriculture to life in the classroom. Her class conducted farm chats on two separate occasions with Bob and his neighbor Laverne, another corn and soybean farmer in Iowa. The Skype sessions gave the students a tour of the farm facilities and equipment, including a virtual ride on the combine harvester as the farmers were harvesting corn during their fall harvest. Students were enthralled by the combine and the technology involved in its computerized display. This session generated further discussion about renewable and non-renewable resources when Bob shared that much of the corn he grows is used to produce biofuel called ethanol. As a STEM extension, the class made bioplastic from corn ingredients and worked together to come up with a list of possible uses for humans. As an extra special surprise, Bob came into their classroom as a mystery reader. The class was thrilled to see the real person behind the Skype sessions. During farm chats, the students asked what some of the challenges were for corn growers. Bob and Laverne told students that a big problem for farmers are weeds in the cornfields and how weeds are becoming resistant to certain chemicals. The students were challenged to collaborate in groups to brainstorm ideas of how to solve the weed problem for farmers. Throughout this cross-curricular agricultural unit, Gozier used Twitter to communicate with families and the community about the students' learning. As a result of this unit, her students are now more agriculturally literate and understand the significance of agriculture, not only for their community, but throughout their country and world. Amy Gozier, 2018 National Excellence in Teaching About Agriculture Award recipient.